Shoot, shoot away. Highway Superintendent Passing is present update on the highway facility design. Okay, so we put it that way. Uh, there's one specific issue that I'd like some not feedback from the board, but just have a quick discussion like we did on the other one. Uh, but first, I'll give a quick overview. Uh, we're still working through the design. Uh, it's going quite well on the new facility. Uh, the sizing is complete. We're starting to get into some of the specifics of it so that we can uh, really continue to narrow down what's needed, uh, what shape it is, what size it is, all that type of stuff. So uh, we're starting to get into some of the nitty gritty meetings about uh, the size of equipment within it uh, and all that type of fun stuff. So the design is going along really well. Uh, I would say we're well over 30% at this point, probably headed toward 50%. Our milestone for that is in March. Um, so the design is going really well. Uh, the other thing that we have almost a month under our belt of is tours. Um, we've had quite a few people come through for tours of the facility uh, to check out uh, basically the conditions that were shown in the PowerPoint uh, much earlier this year about the condition of the structural um, aspects of our 50 or 4 year old building. We've had several people come through. The feedback has been good. Uh, quite a few questions about different things that the new building would bring. Uh, functionality, uh, overall people are uh, generally just surprised at the amount of equipment that it takes to maintain what we maintain. Um, just as we go from uh, area to area to area, there's just more and more and more trucks. And people go, oh my gosh, why is there more trucks in this room? Um, you know, and a lot of times the answer is, well, there aren't any other rooms to put them in and that type of thing. So that's going well. We're very happy uh, with the feedback we're getting on that. We wish we could get more. So anybody that is interested, uh, definitely want to come out and take a look so that uh, they can get some first-hand experience with the existing building. So those two efforts are going really well. Um, the item, uh, we got some information on yesterday that kind of caused us to put this on there is uh, one of the aspects of the new, the new building layout and design, there's some utility new location. Uh, there's, five, there's two cell towers on the site and they each have uh, different uh, forms of communication, power and fiber optic lines going to them. Um, as we go through that, there's easements from the companies on them that go across the property. We need to make sure that those are revised and accurate so that they don't conflict with the new building. As a part of that, we've reached out to um, a company to get an abstract of the property. The property's uh, been in our possession for quite some time. There's been a lot of um, different agreements that have to do with those cell towers, so we want to make sure that we have them all consolidated in one place uh, and an accurate abstract. Uh, through that abstract, we found that there's a small area, about 70 by 60, uh, located along um, Publishers Parkway that doesn't appear in uh, certain descriptions. So the, the question has kind of been posed to us, you know, this isn't where you're building this. This is off, way off in one corner of the lot. Uh, do you want us to spend a lot of time looking into this small portion that most likely is going to end up with your property, but we could spend hours and hours and hours researching it, or do you want to move forward with uh, all the accurate information about the areas that actually impact your building? Um, so that was kind of the, the topic that came to light that I thought maybe a little bit of discussion with the board and their thoughts. Uh, so the concern with that would be is somebody going to look at this 20 years down the road and say, hey, why didn't you go through every little corner and every aspect of this and make it, you know, 100% instead of just looking at the, the other area. So uh, we're going to be making that decision coming up. Uh, we're we're going to get the information we want on, on the rest of the easements and all that type of stuff. But whether or not to have our consultant spend uh, a lot of time looking into a small piece of property like that that's located, um, you know, adjacent to the a road easement in the corner of the property versus in the middle where it would actually cause conflict with the building was uh, something we thought maybe uh, the board would want to discuss or ask questions about or that type of thing. Tom, Tom or Kevin, that's where we were going with it? Yeah, pretty much. And I don't know if. If Bill has been made aware of this, I know Bill's been helping. Uh, he said we got it at about 4 o'clock yesterday, so he's, yeah. he has, yes. Yeah, yeah, Bill's this is the first time hearing about it. Yep. Yeah, it, yep. it's right. a visual bill from what, uh, first of all, the title company that's helped us with the abstract, Charlie, you know, they, they were the ones that helped us right. with the purchase of the eight acres across the street. I think they did a pretty solid job for us. Um, so we thought, well, maybe they can find this abstract. But, History of the property, the meets and bounds, all that stuff, because we don't we don't see it happen. And uh, so <clears throat> it's funny because it, 
just to give some perspective to this, that's about a 20 acre parcel, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, acres about 40,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. three, no. yeah. 20 acre parcel is 860,000 square feet. And the part that is kind of an oddball thing is, how much did you say? 70 by 60. Yep. It's 4,200 4,200 square feet is just, looks like it just was done. And you'd have to see it visually. Um, if I understood it correctly, at least the initial things that the, the rep that we're dealing with at Frontier said was, look, to do this abstract, it's going to probably cost between, what, $900 and $1,500, um, which is a minor, it's a chunk of money, but for, for, for what we're trying to do, we need to get that. Yeah. But Pat, didn't he initially say, if you want me to do a deep dive on this 70 by 60, that cost could go up exponentially. Yeah, it could easily double. Right. Uh, it, it could be a significant change, which is why you know we right. thought maybe discussing it uh, here would would be good because uh, you know moving forward it, it would be one way or the other. Um, we never like to just spend money to spend money, you know. So the significant of it is kind of in the eye of the beholder. And, you know, as the town board, we you know was, you know, the input comes directly from there. Um, and, and like I said, Jenny, you haven't seen this, although I'm sure from your background in real estate, when you see it, it'll, it'll stick on like a sore thumb. But it's a, to me, it's a very small parcel. We're going to have to deal with eventually. Yeah. All right? I mean, we don't want 30 years from now when we're all not I, I, don't, I don't think you know? so. But to have, first of all, that, that's not where we're digging. Not even close. It's not even close, no. It's, it's tucked in a corner that I don't know that, you know. And it's just, to me, I didn't see the, you know, a reason to spend more money when we really want the 20 I, I, years. I can discuss this more. I, 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 I don't think you would be, Charlie, but you know, I try not to. I know, Charlie. No, no, it's good. It's good that it's brought up. It's good to check out. So nothing was. I didn't think it would, but that's why I figured since we had some extra time tonight, and I know you're. Moving somewhat quickly with the, the construction management firm campus or the MRB to be ready to present, uh, uh, I think on February 9th, tentatively. Correct, February 9th, yeah, we're, we're working on our preliminary budget yeah. and, and trying to come yeah. to the board with a full presentation on the financials of this, which we haven't gotten to yet. We've done a lot of stuff on the design and different things. Right. The next thing is the financial impacts, so we'll be here on the 9th uh, to present those. Yeah, that's the next, next item. I mean, I, I, from what you're saying, I don't think we should get hung up on it now, but you should take care of it at some point. Mm -hmm. And when our attorney says that, I'm not worried about that, and I know you wouldn't say that flippantly. That's right? correct. All right. Yeah. Bill? Especially having seen it, we're local. Yeah. So it's, it's at the end of, doesn't it's at the, end of the right of way yeah. that I think at one point may have been set up so that they could put a turnaround in. For plowing and whatnot, yeah, right. And it never, it never occurred. Yeah. So I don't. It may have just been. It may have been added, um, and they forgot to even deed it, or right. yeah. It it's, could be. We don't know if it was an easement. We don't know intended as an easement. We don't know if it was intended. Is it? Is it that portion being used now, Pat? Um, yeah, there, there's a portion of, of some of the roadway that goes over, like you said, at the end of end of a road or some other thing. They're connecting. So it's been it's been used. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they, even, uh, even I think so it's a description it. issue because if you look at the uh, our GIS county map, it, it doesn't show that block separately. So it seems like a, a written description uh, yeah. issue versus exactly. uh, yeah. 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 versus a physical image. Yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. But uh, again. Uh, you can spend, you can get into with our, one of our professional consultants and, and they can start to spend a lot of time trying to sort something out, but there might not be any information. The worst, the worst thing we do is we'll talk about I, 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 I know what you're going to say yeah, as far yeah, as yeah. there is a way to resolve this it's without paying a couple more thousand dollars and having yeah. Frontier spending a lot of time on no. that. Right. That's not what we need that abstract, right, Bill? We need that abstract. We need that abstract so we can start. Right. Work on the site. And right. 
get resolved the easements that are on the site with the two cell phones. And then that's what's got to get done. So, okay. And I know, I think we all are in agreement with that, so we'll, we'll move forward. Appreciate uh, it. We can either get out of here right now, or if anybody has any other questions for Pat about this, the tours the, uh, that are going on, or the, you know, the whole kit and caboodle on this highway facility project right. in advance of two weeks from tonight. Right. Touch right. on the stuff that I'm thinking about, but that doesn't mean that's what everybody else is thinking about. So I'm having to go well. I don't think Bill will have any questions. He's with you on all this. Bill is. Yep. Yeah, yeah he's, he's there for all, all the meetings, and it's going really well. And it's it's great to have his input on things. Um, so we'll have a recommendation on the mic. Patty and Jenny, do you have any? doesn't do it justice. You have to walk through that to see how you have jammed everything into this facility that was built 50 plus years ago when there was 12 employees, not 40, and when the trucks were, I don't know, they probably were smaller trucks, there was less trucks, these things. You can't get really, uh, virtual tours are great and people are taking them. God, I hope that everybody, as many people can take that physical tour, and I think it just gives you a perspective of what you got going it's on. A, it's a very good point. Very, yeah. yeah, the virtual tour really can't can't even compare to trying to hopscotch around all of those trucks to get from one area to the next. Well, the and you know, Karen, and because I can see her because the door is off. <laughs> Karen has been very helpful on, you know, with the virtual tour, we're, I think we're over a thousand people that have watched the seven minute virtual tour. Pardon? Closing in on 2000. Closing in on 2000. Um, and Karen gave, she, she, you know, because now we're, we're going to sit down and say, okay, well, how do we, what's our next way to promote and cajole people to, to do the virtual tour and come out? And so we got to sit down and have a, a brainstorm. And Karen gave a summary email to all of us, but I say all of Pat and his staff, and yeah. Elliot, that, and Ken and my auditor, and said, you know, probably we get a lot more attendance if people could bring their kids, but then she follows up, but I understand why you can't bring your kids, because it would be dangerous. Mm -hmm. That thing is so jam-packed that, you know, you gotta have adults making sure they're getting around those plow blades. It's yeah, not sharp cool. like a razor, but they're metal and heavy. And oh, they're huge. <laughs> you clip it, you know, with your head and your knee, no. you're gonna get hurt. Yeah. Um, we, we would like to look into you know, doing tours on a more regular basis, maybe monthly or something, uh, but there'd have to be some different considerations. And just because, yeah, if you took off running through that place, you're, you're likely to trip and fall. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, used, we used to know an open house, um, townwide open house for all the facilities yeah. in town. How we department would have a tour through the garages and everything, people would go and they'd take, their kids would get up on the equipment and stuff. Uh, we haven't done that in probably four years. But uh, the building's gotten a little worse. I'd, I'd be a little reluctant to have kids walking around in the building. Yeah. yeah. No, but you can pull a truck outside yeah. so they can see that. Yeah. And, yeah. And yeah. No, no, doubt like that would be great. But it, yeah, inside things are a little jammed. Right. Rusty. <laughs> Anything else? 